want to look at a polynomial in general. So I'm going to call that polynomial fz. So a polynomial in general can look something that is like this. The coefficient of the first term, I'm going to call it a0. Then the variable to the power of n. So this is a polynomial with order n. The next term, I'm going to call it a1. Then z to the power of n minus 1. And you will go all the way until the second last term, it will be a n minus 1. Z and the very last one will be a n, the term that is independent of z. So this is a n times z to the power of 0. Okay? So if I have a polynomial, and if the question actually told me one root, and w is the root, and w is that root. So if w is a root of the polynomial fz, then we know that f w, this is equal to 0. We are using this, number 3. Okay? So if f w is equal to 0, substituting and replacing z by w, we will have a, a 0, w to the power of n, a 1, w to the power of n minus 1, all the way until a n minus 1, w, a n. This is equal to 0. The next step that I'm going to do is one that I don't, I I cannot tell you a good logical flow from this to the next step. And this is where you need to memorize. Okay, because there is no flow that can connect you from this step to the next step. If you don't memorize, uh, from my experience, it's going to be pretty difficult for you to do that. And I also believe that whoever came up with this proof, right, it was by doing try and error. They just try this, try that, try this, try that, and, you know, do a bit of algebra, do a bit of algebra there. Then, uh, then they realize that, hey, this direction works. So that, that step is to take the entire left-hand side, conjugate it. I'm going to take the entire right-hand side. I will conjugate it. So I cannot tell you why I'm doing this. Okay, but we are going to see why this will work after we have completed this. That's why I will memorize this step. So it is going to be taking the left-hand side here, a0 to the power of n, a1, w to the power n minus 1, all the way until a n minus 1, w, a n, this conjugate, zero conjugate. What is zero conjugate? Last week we have discussed about taking a real number, conjugate. If it is a real number, I can also perceive this real number as a complex number. So it is going to be like 3 plus 0i conjugate. And what is 3 plus 0i conjugate? It is like 3 minus 0i. It is still going to be equal to 3. So if you can imagine this to be imposed on zero, it is like 0 plus 0i. So what is zero conjugate? It is still going to be equal to zero. A real number conjugate is still going to be the same real number. Okay? How about the left-hand side? Is there any way that I can manipulate this? I mean, it will be a little bit weird if we were to try to do this and we can't manipulate this any further, right? So we are going to make use of what we have discussed last week about conjugate. You know, I, asked, I was asking you guys to, to take a look at this. If you have some time, you know, to look at a, to look on the look on the Achievers TV to see the proof for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we prove it together. And today we can actually use this number one. I'm going to use number one. Number one says that if I have one complex number plus or minus another complex number conjugate, then it's going to be this complex number conjugate plus or minus the other complex number conjugate. I can apply it to this, which will lead me to a a zero w to the power of n conjugate, then a1, w to the power n minus 1, conjugate, all the way until this, which is a n minus 1, w to the, or w to the power 1, then conjugate, then a n conjugate. And I can also apply number 2. Number 2 says that if one number multiplied by another number conjugate, then it will be the first number conjugate multiplied by the second number conjugate. I will have this. I can apply it to this, which is going to be a1 conjugate, then w to the power of n minus 1 conjugate, all the way until this it is going to follow the same rule, a n minus 1 conjugate, then w conjugate, and finally we have a a n conjugate, this is equal to 0. One more thing, one more rule that we can apply from there, which is number 5. Number 5 says that if it is w n conjugate, number 5, then it is the same as w conjugate to the power of n. I, don't, I cannot do much to the coefficient, so I'm going to rewrite it here. And then plus, here will be a1 conjugate. This will be w conjugate, the whole thing to the power of n minus 1. All the way until this, which is a n minus 1 conjugate, w conjugate. Okay, I can't do much to this also. Then this will be a n conjugate. This is equal to 0. 
And you know what? We have derived that nothing. <laughs> yeah, we have derived that nothing. There's no conclusion to this. Unless we impose certain condition. Okay, just now we have already talked about it. Many times at higher level uh, math, higher level facts, you, will, you, you want to really make sure that you look at the conditions, you want to really look at the, the assumptions before you know whether they can be applied or not. So let me give you some situations, okay, where I can sort of like move on to the next step. Because as of now, right, there's nothing I can do, okay, there's no, conclu not, no conclusion that I can make. So what if, okay, let me give you some condition, okay, what if this A0 here, what if this A0 happened to be a real number? If A0 happened to be a real number, then what is real number conjugate? It is still going to be the same real number, right? So if A0 happened to be a real number, then this will be A0. Then I will have a W conjugate to the power of N. What if, what if it is not just A0? What if it is A0 and A1? So if A1 is also a real number, if A1 is also a real number, then this will be A1. A1 conjugate is going to be A1 because A1 is a real number then this will be W conjugate to the power of N minus 1. What if it is not just A, A0, A1? What if it is A0, A1, A2, A3, all the way until AN? What if all these are real numbers? Let me change this again. So I'm going to now use a notation to represent all the coefficients by going for, a, let's say, AI. AI is real number such that I here is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way until N. So this AI here, right? represents <coughs> all the coefficients that I'm looking at. So now if all the coefficients are real number, that means this here is going to be equal to just a n minus 1. W conjugate, this will also be just a n. a n conjugate is going to be a n. This is equal to 0. And now we can see some results. Are you able to see the result already? Can you see that this line here is exactly the same as this line, except that Z is now replaced by W conjugate. Right? This left-hand side here is exactly the same, except that Z is replaced by W conjugate, which means that the entire left-hand side can be written as FW conjugate. And this is equal to zero. Then, by making use of this, number three, you know what is our conclusion? Our conclusion is, if W is a root, then W conjugate is also a root. Wrong. Okay, that's what a lot of people see. If W is a root, then W conjugate is a root. W is a complex number. I can, I can guarantee to you, right, there will be a lot of your friends who will see that, oh, W is a root, okay, they will see this. W is a root, then W conjugate is going to be a root. They will only see this they will miss out one very critical thing, which is here. You, cannot, you, can, you should never quote that W is a the root, then W conjugate is a root, without quoting the fact that the coefficients of the polynomials are all real numbers. This condition is very, very important. In your outline, I try to highlight it in red color also. This yellow color box is the result that we have concluded. The condition is such that the coefficients must be all real numbers. Do remember in our proof where the coefficients are not real numbers or anyone, as long as one of them are not real numbers, right? Then I cannot write down this. If I cannot write down this, then it is not going to be F, W conjugate on the left hand side. That is why I need all the coefficients to be real numbers. Okay? So let me write down this. I think this is a, this is going to be